Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas by James Patterson tells the story of Katie Wilkinson, who is grappling with a recent breakup from her boyfriend, Matthew Harrison. Matthew leaves behind a diary to provide an explanation for his actions. As Katie reads the diary, she realizes that the writer is Suzanne, Matthew's wife, and Nicholas is their son. Overwhelmed with emotions, Katie finds herself in her New York apartment's bathtub, accompanied by her cat and dog, shedding tears. In Katie's mind, she envisions Suzanne, the diary's author, and reflects on Nicholas, Suzanne, and Matthew's one-year-old son, who is also Matthew's biological child. The complex web of relationships between Katie, Matthew, Suzanne, and Nicholas becomes intertwined as Katie recalls the day she received the diary. It was July 19th, the day after Matthew broke up with her. Despite the heartbreak, Katie reminisces about the strong bond she shared with Matthew, sharing similar interests, frequenting favorite restaurants and watching movies together, and even attending church on Sundays. However, Matthew had always kept his life on Martha's Vineyard separate from Katie, never allowing her to visit him. Devastated by the sudden breakup, Katie takes a day off from work and returns from a ferry trip to find a package placed at her door. Inside the package is a handwritten diary titled Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas, accompanied by a note from Matthew. In the note, Matthew explains that the diary will provide the answers Katie seeks and expresses his unexpected love for her. Suzanne's diary begins with her addressing Nicholas, expressing her desire to write a diary to ensure that he knows who she is and promising to create annual videotapes for him. Suzanne, a physician, recounts a day at the park with her dog, Gus. As she playfully chases Gus, she suddenly suffers a heart attack, influenced by her family's history of heart disease. After Suzanne's heart attack, her boyfriend Michael decides to end their relationship, believing she may not be able to have children and already being involved with someone else. Suzanne shares with Nicholas the story of the five balls, a metaphorical tale where life is compared to juggling five balls, work, family, health, friends, and integrity. She realizes that the work ball is flexible like rubber, while the other four are delicate and made of glass. Dropping the work ball may cause it to bounce back, but dropping any of the other balls can result in irreparable damage. Embracing this philosophy, Suzanne quits her job and moves to Martha's Vineyard. In Martha's Vineyard, Suzanne reconnects with Matt, a former high school flame, after encountering a flat tire. They reignite their relationship, marry, and have a son named Nicholas. As Katie continues reading the diary, doubts arise about whether Matt was cheating on Suzanne with her. She is Matt's editor for his new poetry collection, and the substantial order for his latest book raises suspicions. On the night Matt ended their relationship, Katie had been planning to share the good news of his book's success and her pregnancy with his child. However, she never got the chance as Matt saw the prepared table and abruptly left. A diary entry written by Matt clarifies Katie's questions. Matt describes how Suzanne tragically passed away due to a heart attack, and when he rushed to Nicholas's crib, he found it empty. Suzanne and Nicholas had both lost their lives in the accident. Matt writes to Katie, expressing his deep mourning for the loss of his family. Driven by a mix of emotions, Katie takes the ferry to Martha's Vineyard to find Matt, but he is not present at the time. He eventually returns, and together, they find solace and reconciliation. The novel was adapted into a film titled James Patterson's Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas, which aired on CBS in 2005. Christina Applegate portrayed Suzanne, Kathleen Rose Perkins portrayed Katie, and Jonathan Skeech portrayed Matt. Publishers Weekly describes the novel as a blend of sentimentality, both heartwarming and at times uncomfortable, intertwined with profound spiritual truths and a recognition of the harsh realities of pain and loss. The narrative is adorned with abundant rose bushes, complete with thorns, while James Patterson skillfully maintains suspense through intricate plotting. This novel marks Patterson's venture into the realm of romance, a departure from his predominantly mystery thriller repertoire. Drawing from personal heartbreak, having experienced the loss of his longtime partner, Jane Blanchard, to a brain tumor in 1974, Patterson found inspiration for the book. He is now happily married to Susan, with whom he shares a son named Jack. It was Susan's diary to Jack that sparked the creative spark for Susan's diary for Nicholas. Although Patterson is widely recognized for his gripping Alex Cross thrillers, featuring Detective Alex Cross and his relentless pursuit of criminals to solve intricate mysteries, 
this novel reveals a different facet of his storytelling abilities. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.